Bad habits can do major damage to your health, but sadly, Kiki, those habits aren't always easy. So how do you get the upper hand? Hypnotist Colin Christopher is here with his tips. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So where do we start in terms of hypnosis? Well, the first thing to do is always make an ironclad decision about what you want to do. Like if you want to quit smoking or lose weight, make mm -hmm. the decision. Um, if somebody else wants you do, to do it, like, um, like if your friend wants you to lose weight mm -hmm. or your, your parents or siblings, it's just not going to work for you. You actually have to want to do it yourself. Yeah, because obviously if someone wants you to do it, you don't have the motivation. Yeah, absolutely. I know that when I quit smoking, I actually used hypnosis, and I actually found the environment to do it, which was time off of work. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of getting away from those distractions and normal routines. How important is that? Uh, very important, like especially to, to start the process off, you need to be able to do it where you're uninterrupted, because if mm -hmm. you're getting distractions all the time right at the beginning, uh, it's very difficult to actually do any changing. Now, you recommend something about writing things down. Why is that important? Uh, well, specifically, it's just something like we're taught to write since we're very small. So mm -hmm. when you're writing something physically with your hand, it just uh, programs into your subconscious just a little bit better. So write it down. Plus, it helps you clarify what it is that you want to do. So what are some other reinforcement techniques? Uh, some other reinforcement techniques, like once you've been hypnotized or once you're relaxing, like t you can do it on your, s on your own by just doing some deep breaths in and out, laying down or mm -hmm. sitting in a comfortable chair, 10 to 15 breaths. And then from there, you know, thinking about what you wrote down or having or recording it into like your smartphone or something like that and pressing play so you can hear it in the background. Mm -hmm. And then from there, um, physical things that you can do would be like touching your fingers or touching your stomach or something, something easy that's inconspicuous that you can do throughout the day to remind yourself of the programming that you've done. So this is something that is just something you should do mm -hmm. and do you need to get a friend involved to kind of help along with the process? Yeah, you can certainly have a friend do it. Like some people find like a, if they have their friend read out what they've written down or, um, or a hypnotherapist or just about anybody else, uh, the different voice helps uh, program into your subconscious mind a little bit more easily too. So when is the best time to get hypnosis? Is it during the day, at night? What are we talking uh, about? That does vary from person to person a little bit. I usually recommend doing it like if you're doing something major that you're working on, like mm -hmm. uh, quitting smoking or losing weight, something that takes time a little bit. Uh, so do it in the evening before going to bed because that way your subconscious mind gets programmed and then you can uh, sleep and let your brain work on the problem overnight. And what about in the morning after you've slept? Yeah, in the morning I usually recommend uh, doing those physical triggers again, like touching mm -hmm. your fingers or your stomach or whatever. And then from there, uh, it just reinforces the subconscious suggestions you gave. And then throughout the day, whenever you're getting tempted, like if you're at work and uh, you know your friends are smoking or mm -hmm. you're feeling stressed or something like that, you can repeat those physical triggers and then uh, go back to that state that you were in that you were working on the night before. Okay, fantastic. And I understand you have more tips in your book here. I do, yeah. My book is called Success Through Manipulation. It's about uh, identifying the different things that are manipulating you and triggering you to do the bad habits mm -hmm. and then doing something about those things uh, so that you can be more successful, whether it's you know quitting smoking, losing weight, or improving self-confidence or making more money, those kinds of things. All right. Well, fantastic. Thanks for being here today. That's great to be here. Thank you. No problem.